In this video, we will demonstrate how to configure an Axioline F Ethernet IP bus coupler and then insert it into the RS Logix 5000. To configure the I.O., use Startup Plus, a freeware tool that allows you to configure and monitor I.O. points on your Axioline I.O. station. Once the software is open, you will be prompted to enter the password you created when the software was first installed. Next, the software will launch into an assistant utility to walk you through the configuration. In this window, select Create New Project, continue to the next steps, and select the bus coupler you are connecting to. This example selects Axioline Ethernet IPBK. Click Next to continue. Now choose how you are connecting to the bus coupler and whether you need to spy for the device or already know its IP address. From this page, click the Refresh button so that the software will spy the network for bus couplers. Once the BK appears, double-click on the line and enter an IP and subnet for this station. When complete, click the Send button to make your setting permanent. Before you can go any further, jump out of the software and load the bus coupler's built-in web page. Just open Internet Explorer and enter the bus coupler IP address into the address bar. Once the page is loaded, select Quick Setup from the left-hand menu. On this page, uncheck the Plug and Play mode and change the station's password. Out of the box, each unit's default password is private. Once you complete this, click the Apply and Reboot button. From this web page, you can also view the I.O. assemble table. This information will come in handy when it's time to configure the BK in RS Logics. Now return to Startup Plus, continue through the assistant and finish the station's configuration. At this point, the assistant is reading the local I.O. and placing them into the utility. Once finished, you will see the connected I.O. listed on the left-hand side of the screen. In this example, you see three I.O. modules. The first module is a combination analog input-output module that needs to configure the channels for voltage or current ranges. The last two are digital I.O. and don't require a specific configuration, unless you want to set location information or fault response modes. To configure the analog module, first highlight the module and then click the green connection icon. To open up the configuration, go back and double-click the module. Under the parameter folders, you will find folders for each of the four individual I.O. channels. In these folders, you will see all the available configuration options. Simply set the channels to the desired ranges and apply your changes. Once complete, click the OK button and you will be prompted to write these parameters to the device. This configuration is then downloaded to the I.O. device's non-volatile memory. Your project can be saved for I.O. station backup or to configure identical stations. Now the station is configured and we can insert this device into your RS Logix 5000 project. Simply right-click on the Ethernet port in your controller configuration and select New Module. In the Select Modules Type window, uncheck the Modules Type Vendor filter and then select Phoenix Contact as your vendor type. Now you will see a list of available Phoenix Contact devices. Select the Axioline EIP-BK. In the New Module window, enter a name for your station, enter the station's IP address, and finally, under Modules Definition, enter the appropriate input and output size of the connection. This information can be found on the BK's webpage under the I.O. Assemble table. Once you are finished, click OK to close the window and continue programming. If you need further information, check out phoenixcontact.com EIP.